All right, polymeter this week. So probably the easier of the polymeter right here because the three, four time signature part is it's pretty easy to see in this four, four time signature layout. So here we go, 60, making sure we count. It's gonna help. One and a two, e and, well, I'm gonna count out the four because it is in four, four. One, two, three, Four, one, and a two, e, and three, e, a one, and a two, e, and three, e, a one, and a two, e, and three, e, a one, and a two, e, and three, e, a two, three, four, one. Twenty one, two, three, four. One eighty, no, one fifty. One, two, one, two, three, four. One eighty, one, two, one, two, three, four. Back to 150 for the repeats. One, two, one, two, three, four. The difficult one so repeats yes it's just going to be twice through instead of four times figure that's plenty of work on it for this guy so yep keep counting it keep counting this as a three four time signature just remember when you're cycling through everything when you say the two beat number two you'll be changing chords here and you're saying three, they'll be changing chords here. So you got your one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a one and a two E and three E, a done. I hope that made sense. So yeah, as you're cycling through, counting at the one and a two e and three e, a one and a two e and three e, and so on, that starts on the one. That'll be on the two beat number two of the three four time signature count. This will be on beat number three of the three four count. That'll be back on beat one of the three four count and the four four count. That'll be on beat number two of the three four count, and this is beat number three of the three four count. So, here we go. 60. One, two, three, four, one, and a two E and three E, a one, and a two E and three E, a one, and a two E and three E, a one, and a two E and three E, a one, and a two E and three E, a one, and a two E and three E, a one, and a two E and three E, a one, One, two, three, four, one, and a two, and three, a 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 one, and a two, and three, Four. 
again, make sure I got it. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Damn it. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I lose it at the end there. One more time. One, two, one, two, three, four. Long chord. One, two. Holy moly. One, two, three, that was correct. Now that's hard. All right, let's go down to 150 again for the repeats. One, two, one, two, three, four. I lost count. Whew, this is tough. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Holy crap. All right. That is tough. So, yeah, when you're working on the arpeggio stuff or the chord stuff, yeah, just a reminder. So, yeah, you're starting with that C chord up there. So when you're changing it, you change the lowest note first, then the middle notes, then the top note, then the bottom note, middle note, top note, bottom note, middle note, top note. Bottom note, middle note, top. Bottom, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top. Bottom, whoop, middle, top. Change the bottom, middle, top. 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 There we go. All right, whenever you got it done, just send it on over. I'll take a look at it. Remember to add the Roman numerals to, yeah, all the Roman numerals associated with the chord. And I think that does it. All right, I'll see you again next week.